So hi everyone, I'm Arthur, I'm one of the uh, neurosurgery SP supervisors and I wanted to show you guys about the Butterfly IQ. So uh, about two years ago I thought my birthday was coming, I thought I'd just do something nice for myself. So I got this portable ultrasound uh, which works with your iPhone and it's got a ton of modality and we've been, you know, and I, you know, I leave it for our colleagues to use and our colleagues have really start to adopt this wonderful technology where as soon as you plug it in, it opens up a dedicated app, which anybody can install on their phone, and allows you to do, if you look on my phone, a whole variety of different, you know, what we call POCUS, or point of care ultrasound. Everything from uh, carotid access to look at carotids or blood vessels, to doing um, lungs, hearts, and even doing bladder scans. Really, you know, ultrasound is, is the wave of the future and there's a lot you can do if you are technically capable of doing it. And to demo that, I have my student Ashlyn here and she's going to be our demo person and we're gonna show you how, you know, if you're, at the, if you're working and you're in the ICU and you need ultrasound, most machines you have to go hunt, hunt down, plug in, put in information, this works within just seconds, and then you're ready to go. And that's really great. And I can even have various functions I can have. You know, for example, I want to color, I want to look at the arteries and veins of Ashland's arm, and because I want to do an arterial line, for example. And so, you know, before you even start your procedure, you can go to the patient's bedside or you can go to Ashland in this case. It only needs a little goop. You can even do saline, and then you can take a look the color we're using color doppler at a depth of about half a centimeter and we see this pulsating blue the pulsating blue means that the whatever is flowing through the vessel is moving away from my probe and if i put pressure on it it pulsates against me so i know that's an artery and the artery is obviously running you know in the direction that it's running because it's going again against the probe and so if I were to need blood or put a line in on a fly, I can come by and do that. So, so you know, what's great about it, you know, the, the portability here is amazing because you can take this anywhere uh, and all you need is your phone. And goodness knows we all have phones these days. And this can fit in your pocket and they actually sell a holster. You can actually walk around like you're a cowboy and just pull out your ultrasound. So we take a look at your lungs. So you know, th this is the future and it's going to replace, you know, this can replace stethoscopes. This can replace uh, so many other devices. And, and unlike what you usually think of a big giant machine you roll around in a car, it's just simply not the case anymore. You can just take it with you on the go. And it just has a tremendous amount of usage, you know, for, we have to pay for it. You know, it's actually pretty incredible. And we actually have even, you know, gotten to a level higher, you know, we just take basic functionality of looking at an artery. And here, you know, Neurosurgery Lenox Hill, we have actually are using translucent plates and for prosthetics, which instead of using, we would use sort of a mesh. Now we can use a solid translucent plate and you can ultrasound right through someone's head and take a look at their arteries if we've done a vascular surgery or look at the fluid spaces in the brain to see what's going on there and we don't have to take them down for cat scans cat, cat scans like doing 100 x-rays you know that's a lot of radiation and it's transports and convenience uncomfortable it's expensive this is a one-time deal and can really provide a lot of information without a lot of patient discomfort and so again this is this is the future of, of technology and I was very happy to adopt and I'm happy to see that the team's adopting it and, and even our, our surgeons have you know started to adopt it as well for their own uses. So here you can see in this video is we're looking at a patient's uh, bypass graft and you know we're at the bedside using the butterfly and we're looking through the skull through the old incision with the and the longevity flap you know we know where it is uh, you can see right through through the skull and and you can see this blood vessel it's blue and I know that and I know that means it's moving away from the surface of the skull into the brain that's how we know it's the bypass graft and you know this saved the patient a trip down for cat scan